So tonight is not just a football game. Tonight is why that quarterback for Alabama, Tua, that got hurt, is not going to drop in the draft. He's not going to drop in the draft. And tonight is why. Um, Indianapolis does everything right. Their GM, Chris Ballard, is brilliant. Their coach, Frank Reich, is excellent. Their offensive line is the best young O-line in years in the NFL. It's like the Cowboys four years ago. Their defense, they get draft picks, they steal guys, free agent, they're smart. They do everything well. The cap, they develop players. And tonight, I'll take Houston because Houston has a great quarterback. Their offensive line's a work in progress. They don't actually have a GM. Their head coach, Bill O'Brien, can be good at times, but I'm not sure he understands how clocks work. Situationally, they can be an absolute tire fire, but they have Deshaun Watson. And that is why Tua is not dropping in the draft. You can do virtually everything wrong, but I got Deshaun Watson, and you got Jacoby Brissett. I'll take Deshaun Watson. I think there's going to be a... I think there's going to be a bidding war for Tua. And uh, tonight's why. Because you're going to watch that game tonight. And you know in the AFC, and these teams are in the AFC, the winner tonight takes control of the AFC South. And do you know that um, since 2003, the last 16 years in the AFC, four quarterbacks have gotten to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Big Ben, and one year Joe Flacco got ridiculously hot. Four quarterbacks, but mostly three. Hall of Famers. And in the next six weeks in the NFL, you're going to see guys like Aaron Rodgers and uh, Russell Wilson and Drew Brees and Tom Brady and Deshaun Watson and Lamar Jackson separate because they're special. And special is what wins right before Thanksgiving up until February. And Indianapolis does everything right. They just don't have the right quarterback. I like Jacoby Brissett. He's fine. They had the right quarterback, and then that quarterback retired. And then they got a guy they signed for two years who's very solid. I'm not denying he's a franchise guy, but he's not special. Doesn't have special mobility. Doesn't have a special arm. He's good. Fine. He had a lot of Kirk Cousins there. Got to surround him with perfect stuff. But when you watch tonight, I want you to watch very carefully on a team that is brilliantly run, shrewdly developed, does virtually everything right, against a team that does not have a general manager, O-line's a work in progress, and we don't know if Bill O'Brien was given a a watch as a kid because he can't figure out clock management. And I'll take Houston. So we're going to play the herd hot seat today. So where is Jason Garrett? Where is Jason Garrett in terms of heat if he loses to New England? Here we go. <laughs> All right. They're very useful. All right. So I'll give you a name of a coach. And since you love fire emojis, you yeah. can give me a scale of one to five flame emojis how hot the seat is for these coaches. Freddie Kitchens. I think it's a five. I think a lot of people thought he wasn't ready for the job. Um, they're four and six. I also think they lead in penalty yards. Uh, uh, I think the word is out there. You've seen several reports. People feel like situationally, Freddie's kind of learning on the job. So I'd say he's a five emoji. Anthony Lynn. I'd say two. Okay, remember he's been. This is his third year, and he's had. He's been very successful. Last year he went twelve and four. The year before nine and seven. And I also think because Philip Rivers has thrown so many picks, the onus is on Philip. It'd be one thing if Philip was having an MVP year. Philip has regressed. They had the Melvin Gordon situation. And they had the Derwin James injury. So I think there's a little heat, but it is just burning embers. It's two. Bill O'Brien. Again, I'm only going to go, I'm going to go two. Most people think it's higher, but remember, he's been there for six years. He's only had one losing season. And the people have always said the GM situation was toxic. So he went out, he went and got running backs and a left tackle. So I don't think, I think they're going to give him the rest of this year. I also think with Deshaun Watson, they're going to win the division. Really hard to fire a guy that keeps winning his division. He's only had one losing season. Ron Rivera. Um, Again, new owner, three emojis. So three burn emoji. New owner, less patient, never had back-to-back winning seasons. You can say it's Cam, 
but that's not – I mean, you got a new owner, and this guy's never had back-to-back winning seasons. There's a yeah. little – There's a little. new owners change the temperature in the room. You go from two to three emojis. Dan Quinn. Uh, this is a five-alarm fire. Uh, Arthur Brank has been very patient. By the way, since the Super Bowl year, does, their win total has gone down every year since 2016. 11, 10, 7, and 3. They have a sub-500 record since the Super Bowl. And Kyle Shanahan leaves, right. who we all acknowledge is a great coach. And it feels like Kyle Shanahan was a bigger part of his early success than maybe Dan Quinn. Matt Nagy. See, I think he's only a two-flame two, two flame guy. First of all, he won Coach of the Year last year. And again, much like Anthony Lynn and Phillip Rivers, I think people say you can't win with Mitch Trubisky. Minnesota's right. really good. Green Bay's really good. Detroit's probably the best fourth-place team, arguably, in the NFL. So I think Matt Nagy gets off the hook. Trubisky gets him off the hook, too. Yeah, I agree. Matt Patricia. I would say only two. Now, I, I, it could easily be three because I don't trust Detroit's front office yeah. and ownership. But in the end, Matt Stafford got hurt. And the minute Matt Stafford got hurt, and he's got some impressive wins. He beat Belichick. There are there are a couple of wins in here. You're like, oh, oh, okay. Um, Matt Stafford's injury keeps him from three to two. Pat Shermer. Now, I think Pat Shermer's at three. The Mara family is patient. Uh, this could easily be four. They start slowly. They just lost to the Jets. Okay, and the Jets are considered a total rebuild with a – I mean, really a total rebuild, and the Jets in their building with Namara standing there up in the box beat him. I think he went from two to three. They're two and eight on the year, and frankly, um, there are times they have looked completely not ready to play in the first half of football games. And finally, Jason Garrett. I think it's four. If they lose to New England, I think it's four. Ten years, never made an NFC championship game. Six and four on the season. His contract, by the way, is up. It is a clean yeah. break. Lincoln Riley's down the road. You've got two college coaches, Matt Rule at Baylor and Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma. Jerry has been very – Jerry will go to the college ranks. He went to the college ranks with Jimmy. He, Jerry's not somebody that's afraid of the college ranks. Jason Garrett loses Sunday when he has a better O-line, better quarterback currently, better weapons, better linebackers, better edge rusher, better kicker. Uh, I think it's tough. I think it's a tough spot for Jason Garrett, the hurt hot seat. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.